Ricky and Robert. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 469 pounds. Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson. The Rock and Roll Express. Who needs a little trim? I'm looking at you, Corey. I'd rather put my head in and a wood chipper. First, from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 271 pounds, Brutus the Barber, Beefcake. Hey, Byron, do you remember when Brutus gave his very first haircut? Yeah, WrestleMania 3, one of the greatest moments ever. You're absolutely sadistic. Who let this maniac out of here with hedge trimmers? You better watch out. I love the barbershop, though. One of my all-time favorite talk shows. Yeah, I remember when Shawn Michaels threw Marty Jannetty through the window. What a great moment. Of course you would say that. Look who's here! The Hammer! And his partner from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 249 pounds, Greg the Hammer Valentine! What about the great team that Hammer used to make with Brutus the Barber Beefcake. The dream team. And let's talk about great tag teams. How about him and the Honky Tonk Man? Rhythm and Blues, baby! Look at Greg the Hammer Valentine. Yeah, that's a man's man. One of the toughest men in the history of the business. All the money he's made, championships he's won, and that man has never dieted, ever. Well, we're all different. Listen, take nothing away from Greg the Hammer Valentine, former Intercontinental Champion, former Tag Team Champion. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh, you cannot take your eyes off him for a second. Really? Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect four. Ouch. Nice sharp back in. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Oh, what impact!
tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had... Ricky Morton! Here we go, Brutus Beefcake said... Sleeper hold! Say goodnight. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. He's out. He escapes the hold. Not a moment too soon, Cole. Man, what a slam. This does not look good for Brutus Beefcake. The two out of three falls matches saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in a two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Big slam. He caught him slipping. He has something big planned. He's in control. He's making a statement here with this attack. Check. Beautiful. Truly devastating, Cole. Even better the second time around. I think we know what this beautiful technique. Here's his chance. And he kicks out. Very nice. In a tag team contest, a superstar and a partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a single... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. A harsh impact. That's how you wear down your opponent. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against... Watch out! Bunny Bulldog! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. In control. So much damage to the neck. Here's his chance to win this. Moves like that will make you question why you stepped into the ring in the first place. His shoulders are down. What a tag team display. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. And this is how he ended it. Well, that one was over before it even started. No wonder these guys won. They work together like they've been teaming up since birth. And it'll be interesting.